Okay, so since Season 2 of Luke Cage is coming out next week, I decided where to start Luke Cage. How should you read this character? Well, let's see. Luke Cage is a pretty badass character. He's been around for a while, but his popularity kind of blew up or grew even more in about the mid-2000s era after being part of more of Jessica Jones's life and then even leading the Avengers at some point. But hell, before that, we were known to he was known as Power Man, part of the Iron Fist and Power Man team-up called Heroes for Hire. He was raised on the streets of Harlem, and he learned to be strong, powerful, and kind of a voice for the uh, people in his community and all around. Well, over the years, he's become more of a leader, similar to maybe Captain America in a way, and leading the Avengers. Um, he's become a, a bigger character in that sense. However, where do you start, Luke Cage? You love the TV show, but you want to know more about him, I'm about to tell you right now. Starting off with the first series, Power Man and Iron Fist or Heroes for Hire. This is kind of a cheat since this series is so damn long all the way back from the like the 70s into the current era and you could go back to the originals which I'm gonna be honest <laughs> they're goofy as hell yet somehow they're just still a lot of fun to read and seeing Danny aka Iron Fist and uh, Luke Cage fight together is just wonderful. If that's too old to really go back and read those comics because of the goofy dialogue and older art you can check out the new Power Man and Iron Fist series, which just came out a few years ago by David F. Walker and Sanford Green. This, to me, I loved. It didn't end particularly well, but that's because it was canceled. But the first volume alone, the first six issues, are amazing and well worth the admission just to start the series. And the others are pretty good, too. So check out that series if you want a little bit of flavor of Luke Cage, but you also get some of Iron Fist to see why people want a Heroes for Hire series. The other series I would recommend is New Avengers. I know I keep talking about team books, but this is a big ass team book and Luke Cage gets a lot of screen time or um, I guess page time. Also, he gets this huge arc that revolves around him and he has some great big character moments that make him grow as both a character, as a father and a husband. Plus, as much as people complain about Bendis, he did well here in my opinion for especially a Luke Cage character. And there's various artists from David Finch to Steve uh, McVeven, I think his name is, that always help really make these series, uh, the Avengers, New Avengers and so on, so much fun to read. And I mentioned in the other video, it's just a blast of a series in my opinion for Avengers fans. But it's also great for Luke Cage because you get to see him grow with his relationship with of course Jessica Jones and his daughter. This is where I was actually introduced to Luke Cage and I don't regret a single thing because it made me go back and read the, all the old stuff and all the new stuff. As far as like a one shot volume that you can read and pick up today, there's no better than in my opinion Luke Cage Noir. I mean this is a really cool story. A lot of people know about Spider-Man going back in that time especially if you played Shattered Dimensions. That was really cool but you didn't know other characters went through it. I'm gonna have to say though Luke Cage heavily benefited from this thanks to the atmosphere presented in this title. The solid writing from Mike Benson and great art from Adam Glass really made this kind of special and it worked really well and it's an out of continuity type of story but that's okay because it uses it as a benefit to make a more interesting kind of mystery crime story and I really loved it. Check it out. You can pick it up right on Amazon all together in one book. But yeah, that's all I really have to say about Luke Cage. There's other series that you might want to check out, like just titled Cage, which is the Mac series. It's a little bit more gangsterish. Um, I didn't particularly like it, but some people do. But yeah, Luke Cage is a great character, and he's not just a supporting cast, even though he does really well as a supporting character in books like Avengers. But I think that he's an interesting character and a really cool multi-layered character that became really from kind of the 70s and more brought into the modern era and worked really well. So, before you watch Season 2 of Luke Cage, or after you watch Season 2 of Luke Cage, check out these comics if you like the character and tell me what you think. If you have any suggestions, list them below. I would love to check them out. I sometimes miss some great series, so put them below. Everybody else, have a good day. Hey guys, some of you know that I've been working on my own comic called Sparks for years, and it's finally coming all together. You can now check out the comic right on Comicology, where you can just order it for $2.99 and then you can also check out my website that I'm going to list in the info bar below if you want to buy the paperback will be next month at the end of May and please check it out let me know if you do buy it or support it and look out because we're going to have more issues coming as well as a trade paperback thank you guys for all the support throughout the years